today. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what was that? Hola, mi amigos, ¿cómo estás? Me llamo Hector López. Hey Google, how do you say welcome back in Spanish? Hola, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? 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 Not much has been going on, to be honest. Um, I move in 30 days and I have not started packing. Other than that, nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot, my foot's healed. All right, so let's get started. First thing you wanna do is turn on the stove. I got a pan. So I'm gonna be using the ultimate groundless beef. Groundless, wait, what's it? The ultimate beefless ground. I recommend this one. There's another one. It's ground beef. It's the same, but it, if, it's just soggy. So I have a bad habit of putting things on high, if you did not know from my last video. Oh my god, look, I'm already burning food! Oh my god. But yeah, so you want to add some beef, some beef. This is good, because it's just for me, to be honest. It's a we gotta learn Spanish while we're doing this. Hey Google, how do you say potato in Spanish? Patato. In Spanish, you would say patata. Ah, I was so close. How do you say we're gonna cut a potato in Spanish? In Spanish, that's vamos a cortar una papa. Vamos pan lucala una papa. In case you're asking me in the comment section about how much this, how much that, um, I don't know. Excuse me, um. My grandma just tells me when to stop. I actually never got to meet my uh, grandparents. They passed away when I was young. I'm kind of sad. So let me give you guys a backstory. So I'm Puerto Rican. If you guys didn't know, I almost cut my finger off. Thank you, grandma. Thank you, Abuelita. I can't really um, communicate with my family that much shout out to Google Translate and some of my family members for knowing English but I really always wanted to learn Spanish but it was always hard for me to get that accent and you know I like acting and stuff so I joke around a lot and I think it's helped me perfect not perfect but gain a better Hispanic accent which I'm very proud of so it's helping me learn more now than I did before I went to Puerto Rico a few weeks a few weeks a few years ago with my dad and we actually uh, went to his house where he grew up and I was just like, oh damn, oh damn, damn, damn. I'm very proud to be Latino. Growing up, I never really felt Hispanic unless I was around my family. You know, in school and then also other Hispanic people, they kind of judge you for not knowing Spanish and kind of make you feel like you're not part of Hispanic culture, if that makes any sense. I feel like a lot of people who don't know Spanish can kind of understand what I'm talking about because when you are Hispanic and you don't know Spanish, you're basically shunned. <laughs> They're like... And it, it kind of makes you feel like you don't belong, even though you are Hispanic. So growing up, you know, I always told people I was Hispanic, but they always were like, do you know Spanish? I'm like, no. And then they're like, you're not Hispanic. And then I'm just like... So... This is the potatoes. We're gonna get to the other things right now. So you wanna add some tomato sauce to kinda give it some flavor. Don't ask me how much. You kinda just wanna do it till it's do it done, you know? So then what you wanna do is you wanna add some peppers and onions. You wanna get the four best seasonings, which is adobo, sofrito, garlic powder, and onion powder. So you kinda just wanna put till your grandma tells you to stop. Same with the onion powder. You don't want to put too much, but you also don't want to put a little bit. I'm so bad at this. You want to add a little bit of sofrito. I think you just want to mix it all around. Alright, so now we're going to cut the plantain. If you don't know what this is, it's a plantain. 
So, let's learn more words. How do you say knife in Spanish? In Spanish, you would say cuchillo. Cuchillo. Uno, una cuchillo. How do you say I'm gonna cut plantains in Spanish? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. Hey Google, how do you say be careful in Spanish? In Spanish, that's ten cuidado. Ten cuidado. Ten cuidado. Cucho plátanos. Period. If you do the cooking by the book, hey! then you... You don't want to leave them in for too long. Maybe for like a minute or two at tops. Wow, I really am. Food Network, call me. I really need to invest in something to smash this because... I can't do this. I can't do this forever. Okay, so... Now that the tostones is complete... Hang on. How do you say complete in Spanish? In Spanish, that's completa in its feminine form and completa in its masculine form. Okay, now that the tostones is completo. Completa, completo, completa, completo, 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 completa, completa, completa. Anyways, now that the tostones is completo. Um, let's make the empanadillas. So, you wanna get your discos. They look like this. You wanna get a fork too. Hey Google, how do you say fork in Spanish? In Spanish, you would say tenedora in its feminine form and tenedora in its masculine form. For real? Well, you're Fenedora and Fenedoro and Dora the Explorer. Anyways, so I like to keep it on the paper. That way, I don't know, I'm just weird. So you wanna get some and you kinda just wanna like, you get a fork and you just kinda smash it. I do both sides just for the aesthetic. She's cooking fast. Don't cook this on high heat. Literally, the one side looks like fried chicken. Hey! Alright guys, so I finished. So what we have right here is empanadillas and tostones. On top of that, we are doing vegan mayo and ketchup. Also not sponsored, but AHA is a really good sparkling water brand. This one is ginger and apple. You would think that's disgusting, but it's actually really good. I recommend cherry and coffee flavor. That one's extremely good. Weird combination, but it's actually really good. So let's dig in. So I accidentally kind of burned these. Oh, hell! This one's not that bad, but... This is the first one I did. The one that I said looks like fried chicken. That is amazing. Wow. I could have left these in a little longer, but I'm hungry, so... Let's get to this. I'm scared. Damn, that one's really burnt. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, I'm gonna do this one. It's still hot though, because I took it out like five minutes, not even five minutes ago. Let me tell you smell-wise. It does not smell like an empanadillo. So I, that's why I'm like really, 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 really skeptical and scared. But let's go. I would give a 7 out of 10. The only reason why, there's a few reasons why. One, there's only one, one reason to be honest. It's a little dry and it's really not my fault. I mean, it could be my fault. It's not dry like as in like, damn, I need water. It's just, you know, like when you have the original ones, like they're like, they're like melts in your mouth. This is like, Like, I gotta chew for the flavor. I want the flavor to slap me in my face. I don't wanna have to work for the flavor. So I give these a seven out of 10. Would I ever make these again? Yeah, but I would probably try to make them a different way. So if you guys decide to make these at home, let me know, because I need to know. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Some of you have been asking me to make a cooking video, so surprise. Comment down below any video ideas you want me to do, and I will do them. But yeah, I hope this encourages you guys to cook at home and not do this. And I'll see you guys next time, so peace out. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah.
Can you tell me why? Can you tell me?